Cunningham told us we're going to open up our offense. And they open up with a five wide receiver set. Shotgun win over the top and nearly intercepted. Deflected by the middle linebacker, Tanner Brock. Tanner Brock so active at that Mike linebacker position. TCU runs a lot of quarters coverage, so it puts the pressure of the underneath routes, which Utah likes to run. And on second down and 10. Eats will go to the ground. Nice hole off the right side. And Eddie Wide as Jordan Wynn is all alone in the backfield. Good protection. Throws. Going to be short. Did he step out? He did. That's Devontae Christopher out of bounds at mid -time. At the 16-yard line, Horn Frog show blitz. They pull back as Jordan Wynn sets in the pocket. Throws. It's pitch and catch. Spinning out of trouble is Brooks. And close to a first down. Tanner Brock just... Ran for him stride for stride, but a nine-yard pickup for Jeremy Brooks. He's a he's a scatter bug, Aaron. 5'7, 170. Well, this is what TCU wants to do is create one-on-one -on -one matchups with their most explosive playmaker underneath Jeremy Brooks and get him lined up in man-on-man -man coverage with Tanner Brock. Power game here, third down and short. Asiata in the backfield. He is hit as soon as he touched the football. I'm looking from the spot from Arga is causing some problems for Jordan Wynn. Near side, drop Jeremy Brooks and bring on the punting unit for Utah. TCU, one of the best teams in the country, getting themselves off the field on third down, 24% on the year. But man, they're running down the final seconds here of the opening quarter. 19 ticks on the clock. Win sets up and throws in traffic, threads the needle, and a pickup of maybe eight, nine to Devon, and also lost a fumble. Yeah, you got to be able to manage the ball game for this true sophomore. Wooden slings, shots it to the near sideline. Out of a tackle goes Shakey Smithson, and maybe now. Well, the pots, pads are popping. Matt Asiata. Let's go back to the studio. Adam Sook. 2.40 on the clock. Utah will start this drive at the 35-yard line. Eddie Wide at the running back position. And there is Jordan Wynn at halftime. 2 of 7 for Utah on third down. Little shovel pass. Whittingham to coordinator position. Shotgun Jordan Wynn. Pressure from the corner. Stands up in that pocket. Took a hit. Picked. It's picked off. Tanner Brock has a clear route to the end zone inside the five. John Cullen, the left tackle, made the tackle. But the pressure came from Wayne Daniels off the right side, and Brock nearly found the end zone. Well, Stansley and Mapong on the other side, and Wayne Daniels bringing the heat and the pressure. Utah. At the 29-yard line. They stay on the ground. And probably the finest run of these. Who's feeling pretty good about themselves hold. Eddie White just ripped off 11 yards. Wynn's going to tuck and run. And he is covered up in a hurry. A yard to the Fasciata and wide. Hornfrog show blitz on the corner. And off with a Panzer pop, and TCU lays the hit, led by Tanner Brock. Was there, just done an excellent job with this unit. Low snap, handled by Wynn, steps up, throws, and about five yards over the shoulder. It's a hybrid position. He plays the run like a linebacker, but can cover like a receiver. Went over the middle, incomplete. Right off the hands of Shaky Smithson. Ingram, the Heisman winner a year ago. Injured early this season, but boy, what a talent. So... First and 10, Utah. Asiata. Little stutter step to the 41. So this ground game has been curtailed today. Little shovel pass inside. Asiata breaks a tackle, puts the pads up, and battles his way here most of the day. Utah 2 of 11 on third down conversions. They pick up a first. Watch out. Nearly breaking away for six was Asiata. And well, this Asiata with a nice block. This is just that counter play that they like. There's a huge hole inside there, and TCU was very worried about that. They run two things inside very, very effectively.